Yo, what's going on guys? Cinematic Seth back yet again. Another abandoned video. We are straight up killing all these abandoned places out here. Road trip after road trip. You already know we're just gonna keep going. But what am I at today? I'm here with Danny on the loose, right over here. Loose. And we're here at what I believe is an abandoned winery. There's one building right over here and there's another building right up the road down there. So we believe that the winery and all that other stuff, like the supplies and the actual wine making supplies are right up there on the road. But we're gonna start with this one first because I mean, we're right here. We might as well, right? <laughs> Let's get it. All right, so we're cutting through all the bush as per usual. There's a broken window right there. We're definitely not the first people to be here. This place is definitely been for a while. Oh yeah, this place is definitely decaying i mean look black mold on the walls the ceiling panels are falling it's not even actually a panel that's the ceiling this guy definitely owned a lot of land i mean look at that it's crazy and this looks like his kitchen and these are rain boots or something let's get in this kitchen and check it out wow it's a very spacious kitchen actually, not gonna lie. There are so many spider eggs right there. You guys know I hate spiders, so I'm kind of freaking out right now. So I guess he had his kitchen conjoined with his washing room area. I wonder if there's anything inside this fridge. Check it out. You can tell that it's old, like a nice retro design. You can just tell by the way it looks. All right, let's open this fridge and see what's in here. Oh, that is gross, dude. Look at all that. I don't even know what that is, but... Oh, it smells horrible, dude. Jesus Christ. Actually, like super freaked out about all the spiders in here I'm just like I hate bugs so much but check this out right in front of me I don't even it's like a dividing door but it's like collapsible like a tri-folding bifolding door or something like that it's actually pretty cool and then you come in here and this looks like the living room now this is pretty dope there's a couple reasons why number one that's a sewing table right over there. We're gonna take a look at that. Gotta watch out for the floorboards right here though because they're starting to rise. Yeah, the sewing machine is still in there. That's an old Singer sewing machine. That's pretty cool that that's still here. Another reason why this, is, this room is so cool is this gigantic fireplace, this gigantic stone fireplace at that. You don't really see stone fireplaces very often except in like the high class homes with a nice little bench right there and it's just a nice open area it's very beautiful now this is something that i've been wanting to see for a little while i knew about this because i saw it on instagram some urban explorers came in here and set up this room full of maps maps of countries the world like look there's a map of australia antarctica africa all these places across the world. I don't know why he, the guy that owned this place was so interested in maps, but it made for a cool creation. People actually came in here and put them up on the walls and did all kinds of cool stuff with it. But as per usual, you post stuff to Instagram and then the place comes and gets vandalized and people rip things off the walls and all that other stupid stuff. We don't do any of that stuff here. We just come in here to take pictures and just enjoy ourselves in documenting history, taking photos, making videos. We're all in it for the love of the game. That's pretty much it. And right in here was his bedroom. That's really all that's in that room. Just one little bed.
we're gonna go join Danny upstairs. Let's check it out. Right here is the bathroom. Pretty good shape. The tile is always in shape for some reason. That's dope. Right here looks like it could have been another bedroom, but there's nothing in here anymore. Let's keep going up. This might have been a secret crawl space at one time, but it's been nailed shut. What up, boy? Here. This is actually a dope view of the living room. All right, let's check out the ominous hallway. This is just a closet. Let's get that out of my way. Another closet. Ooh, this is a cool room, actually. You guys already know why I like this room. And if you don't, that's because you're new. But if you don't know, it's because of that right there. The vines growing over the window and slowly nature taking over again. You guys know that's like my favorite thing about exploring is when the decay actually starts to happen. Ooh, look at this bathroom right here with a nice marble shower. That's pretty cool. I love this stonework right here. This whole bathroom is marble and it just looks awesome. This is a very good bathroom. It's in really good shape. What's going on in here, man? Ooh, another bedroom. This is probably my favorite bedroom. My Probably my favorite room in the whole house, actually. I don't know why, it just looks so dope. I love this, man, right here. This window is so cool. They must have had a cat at one point because this is like a scratching post or like a kneading post for a cat. And that's like a little cat toy on the end that they would just play around with. That makes me kind of sad that the pet isn't here anymore. Oh, look at this. This is a fly swatter, dude. <laughs> I don't know why that's so cool to me, but like, it's just old and like, you can tell that it's been here forever. It looks like they made it, they might even made it with like a coat hanger. <laughs> that's cool. So we're back out here, we're on the road now. We're heading up this hill and we're gonna go and see if we can find any of the wine making supplies, see if there's any wine that's still left here. Constantly walking through the bushes and the brush and the vegetation, it never ends. So right now this is looking like just a shed, but the wine is either downstairs or upstairs somewhere, but we know it's here. Is the girl's name on that flag? Just a garage. Upstairs we go. Good. I'll just look at it. Ooh, it's really hot up there. Heat rises, my guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like me. Love the heat. Yeah, it's not good. It is extremely hot up here. Actually, I found another flag. But check it out. It looks like someone was actually living up here. This might have been like an attic room. There's two mattresses right here. And this looks like a really old TV, but a really big TV at the same time. Back in the days, this must have been really expensive. Oh yeah, that was very valuable back in the day. Yeah. Window frames and AC, some plaques right here, some trophies. This right here is a bowling plaque. There's a guy's name on there. And that's a fishing trophy. What's weird to me is that this room is so like cluttered and dirty. You can tell it's old, but you come in here and check it out. It's like mostly clean, actually. It's weird. All right, so we did upstairs. Now we gotta check downstairs. The wine is most definitely downstairs. That's usually where any like alcohol or drinks are kept when you know they're being made or brewed. So let's get down there ASAP. Yeah, you can already see that. Oh, look. Wine goods right there. A wine bottle. There's already some right here. Let's, go. let's check it out, man. Hmm. This doesn't seem like a cellar, it seems like a stable. 
Yeah, this is definitely a stable. This is weird. Huh. I see another hook though, right? I'm just curious what the heck is around here. Oh, check it out. There's a keg. So this is it right here. I think this is pretty much all that's left. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So on top of this huge like treasure chest, like trunk, the mystery box right here, we got a bunch of wine jugs and a really old fashioned keg. You can tell they've been sitting for a while. Look at all that dust accumulating. That's awesome, dude. I love this. All right, we got to check out this little enclosed area. Oh, wow. Look at all these wine bottles. Holy crap. There's so many in here. This one's a huge jug and it's still got stuff in it. That one too. This one. Dude, there's got to be hundreds of wine bottles in here. All around us. That's insane. I wonder how long this wine's actually been sitting here fermenting inside these bottles. Obviously, they're no good to drink anymore, but like, it's just crazy to think about. Look at this right here. This says, this shelf contains rare wines, please do not touch. So seriously, this wine isn't just like your regular like sangria or Merlot or whatever. Like this is seriously old stuff that is not like for sale anymore. I mean, who knows what kind of stuff this is. Look, there's even stuff, labels right here. 1968, 1967, all the way back to 1958 right there. So whoever this was, maybe this was a family owned business. But either way, this wine has been sitting here, being made, fermented, since the 50s. It's just crazy. I said the last drink was the last drink You make it hard to leave We're telling secrets in the dark while Drinking whiskey need Yo, I cannot believe that we just found all of that wine that's been sitting there probably like 30 40 years maybe, but it's been being made since the 50s. That's insane. But yeah, that's it guys. We are heading out. We're done with this spot. That's it. We explored it. It was awesome. Very unique. Something I haven't seen before. Um, you know, usually you find items like that that have been left around, you know, collecting dust and stuff for decades, but this was a little bit different. It was unique. I mean, wine, that's, that's cool. Wine takes a lot of effort to make. There's a huge fermenting process and I don't know, that's just a work of art right there. This entire thing was a work of art. I'm glad I got to see it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It helps my channel grow and I appreciate it. I would also really appreciate if you would smash that subscribe button because I'm trying to grow a little community, a little family if you will. So I want you all to join that. And be sure to go and subscribe to my buddy Danny on the loose here. You already know, we rep the squad. All right guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.